Welcome back to Kevin Savage TV. My name is Kevin Savage, and today we're gonna take a look at something super easy and uh, super simple, but will definitely help make your workflow quicker, and it has to do with percussion. So don't go anywhere. We're gonna go into Ableton and check it out. Here I am in Ableton and I have two channels. I have a drum rack open and I have a audio track. And what I've got going on right now is the drum rack is being resampled into the resample track, the audio track, um, which I can then arm and record. And you'll see why that is important. So now on the perk track, what I have is I just grabbed a whole bunch of, um, of perk samples from uh, Ableton Gold and Ableton Faro, or not sorry, Ableton, Cymatics Gold and Cymatics Faro. Um, I really like the Cymatics uh, samples and they were easy and they were available and there's a bunch of them. So I just tossed them into this drum rack. I created a MIDI, um, kind of a MIDI loop. Um, for this, what you gotta do is you basically gotta create a whole bunch of just the full bar, right? Just one long piece of MIDI. And so I did that to a bunch of them, um, to a bunch of these, uh, uh, these, um, these Foley percussion. And then I, um, I attached an art, um, uh, arpeggiator at the beginning of the, uh, that perk track. Now, what I'm essentially going to do with this is I'm creating randomized, um, randomized loops. So this is super useful for fills. Uh, you can automate stuff like the rate to basically create really interesting movement and fills. This could be super useful for a perk loop. Maybe you want to come up with something different than what you already have. You can use this and then obviously chop it up. But what this allows you to do is kind of think outside of the box. It's kind of an idea generator. And so you'll see how this works here in a moment. So um, I, like I said, I have the, uh, the MIDI, I have the arpeggiator, I have the drum rack, I have a whole bunch of samples. And then what I can do is I could set the rate, let's say something, you know, let's say quarter notes, right? And so if you watch the drum rack right here, it's randomly jumping around because the style I have set is to random. Now you could do a stuff like random once. Uh, you could always do like play order, which is just going to go through. Obviously, you probably don't want that as much. Oops. Um, do like up and down. Ultimately, random is where you're going to want it. I don't think any of the other ones are really going to benefit you. Um, but right now, it's kind of boring. So what can we do? Well, we can adjust the rate. Maybe we want to speed it up. Maybe push it into kind of the triplet space. Now we're starting to get a little bit of a groove going, right? Now, obviously, right now, these are just MIDI. So what we can do is we can arm our resample right here and record it in. Right? And then we can take that and we can then chop it up. Maybe we um, create another audio track and bring this in there and say, maybe we like this. So let's go ahead and get rid of the rest of this. Let's bring this all the way up. Or 
or let's make this a little bit more, let's do the full bar right here. All right, we can double it up. And we can play around with that. And you know what's cool about that is depending on how the perk is, how the perks are uh, sampled, they're not all going to start on the down. They're not going to all start at the beginning. Some of them are going to be moved over a little bit. Or maybe if you bring in some foley into that mix, some pieces of foley might be completely off off of the grid, and that'll really add this kind of groove to it that you wouldn't get if you were just throwing samples on the on the grid or or, or drawing out MIDI. So this is a super basic, super easy, but super useful tool of generating ideas. And these pieces, these resamples um, of these uh, of just these randomized perks, right? It could be anything. It could be um, you know, some, some snare type stuff. It could be some uh, toms, or maybe you just have a whole bunch of toms. It could even be only like a handful of, of samples. You could just do like 10 of them and then bounce around randomly within that or less. Doing that can really kind of come up with some unique, interesting loops that you can implement into your mix. Because then, you know, the sky's the limit. You could add reverb to this. You know, I could say, well, maybe I want to resample these. You know, let's get super crazy. Let's, I don't know. Let's go to like texture of this and let's transpose it down. No, let's not transpose it down. Let's, um, let's adjust the grain size. Turn off the warp. And let's. From there, you can just do whatever you want with it. You can start resampling it. You can start warping it and doing all sorts of crazy stuff and really coming up with unique sounds that you can then, you know, freeze. Let's freeze this guy and flatten. And now you have just have some super goofy um, samples here. Right, and I don't know what you do with that. I don't know. You could do any, on, anything with it. So definitely worth checking out. It's a good randomator, randomizer kind of just generator of ideas. Um, so I just wanted to share that with you. Um, if you have any other ideas or you want me to demonstrate anything else in Ableton or talk about stuff, leave a comment below. Let me know. Let me know what you think of this. If you've used this before. Um, I know there's several people who do like to use this that I that I've met. So, you know, hopefully this is something new um, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.